The children of Israel were destined to go to the promised land. God brought them out of Egypt to bring them to the promised land. But because they refused to believe that God could kill the giants in the land, they ended up wandering around in the wilderness for 40 years. Everybody remember that part of the story? So 40 years, they're wandering around, and finally they're going to go in. And God was going to take them into the promised land. And he told them, I want you to go into the land and build your houses there. Okay? Very clearly, I want you to build your house. I want you to settle into the promised land. Build your houses there. Drive out the enemies. Build your houses there. Before they went in, Moses gave them some very clear instructions about what to do in regard to their houses when they got there. How to build well. And here's what he said in Deuteronomy chapter 6, beginning in verse number 1. Listen to these instructions. Remember, they're going into the promised land. They're going to get there and build their houses, right? And so now Moses is saying, this is the right way to build. These are the commands, decrees, and laws the Lord your God directed me to teach you to observe in the land that you're crossing the Jordan to possess. So so Moses says, you got to remember, these are commands, decrees, laws that God gave me to teach you to pay attention to and observe when you get into the land. When you get over there and you start building your houses, don't forget this. Don't forget the commands, the decrees, and the laws. Now notice verse number two. So that, the reason you need to do this is so that you, your children, and their children after them may fear the Lord your God as long as you live by keeping all his decrees and commands that I give you, and so that you may enjoy long life. You have two so that's there. So that, that, number one, is obey the commands, the laws, the principles that I'm giving you, that I'm teaching you from God's Word, so that your children and your children's children may have a good legacy, and so that you may enjoy long life there. So the so that is the purpose behind it, so that your house will be strong, so that your house will be firm. He continues in that very same chapter, chapter 6, notice verses 6 through 9, these commandments that I give you today are to be upon your hearts, impress them on your children, talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up, tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads, write them on the door frames of your, your what? Your houses and on your gates. God says, when you get over there in the land, Don't forget the commands and the laws of God. Build according to the commands and the laws of God. So much so that when you start building your houses on the door frames of your houses, write down the laws of God so you'll never forget it. Why? Because then your children and your children's children will have a legacy that is worth following, something that will be solid for their life and for their future, and so that you may enjoy long life in the land God is giving you.